Hello everybody, this is a video on how to create a shopping cart with PayPal. So first I have to say, uh, this is not a shopping cart, the shopping cart that you might expect with the add to cart button. This is only a template. Uh, I, I don't think you can do the add to cart button on Android. It's only in HTML. So this is only a template to show you how you can design uh, a shopping cart on Android with PayPal. Okay, so first you have to create a project and I'm gonna call it shopping cart because it's a shopping cart. I already have the code here uh, that I'm gonna put below the video but I'm gonna go through that code quickly because it's better for you I guess instead of just dumping it so first a linear layout and then this is not a text view this is a button We don't need an ID. Oh, come on. This is the pay button. match parent and wrap content here yeah. it's gonna work fine this is the reset button this is the view cart button I forgot the gravity I'm gonna try to make that video quick, but uh, I'll do my best. Come on. This is a linear layout for the products because it's in a scroll view, I think you guessed it by yourself. Um, match parent and match parent, yes. Android, Android, and Android ID list. And the orientation is vertical, of course. Not necessarily, of course, but in this case, yes. Okay, so we have the template, uh, the XML. Now, uh, let's see what it looks like. on go on Oh, come on. <laughs> I 
Okay, we're well, gonna wait for it to compile because otherwise I'm gonna bug my computer, apparently. What the fuck? <laughs> We're gonna wait. If you don't want to wait, just uh, just skip these seconds. Installing APK, of course. Come on, go. Okay, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, you have the pay button, the reset button, and the view card button. You don't necessarily have to have these buttons. This is only my personal implementation that I did in three hours. You can do better than that. Of course, you can. So now, the linear layout that we created just a few minutes before uh, r.id.list. Okay, so I'm gonna use two classes. The cart class and the product class. I'm gonna copy past my code because I don't think it's worth describing. This is a basic product class with a name. Each product has a name and a value. Um, and for the card class, same thing. It's a map of products and each product has a quantity, which makes sense, right? Also, in that implementation that I did, a product is not defined by, the, by, by its name, but by the pair name value, you see here. So you could have the same name, product one, but with a different value and it, it would be a different product. Okay, so next. Uh, I'm not gonna describe this because I already did it in my PayPal video. This is the PayPal client ID, the service, the request code, etc., etc. I'm just gonna copy it. This is the response of the PayPal application. What? Oh yeah, of course. I uh, have to enable that. Okay, give me a second. Where is the Gradle file? The build.gradle is in here and you have two build.gradle. The right one is the project one, I think, or not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, this one, the model. model.
sink. It's downloading the SDK. Again, if you don't want to watch this, just skip that part. I'm sorry for the <laughs> time it takes, but... It's not my fault. Come on. What? Uh, some, yeah, to use, uh, actually to use the Android PayPal SDK, you need a min SDK version of 16 for your application. Which is okay, I think uh, you cover over 90% of the applications, uh, the, 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 the users. Okay, so now we're supposedly, su yes, cool, the text view of the response, I didn't create a response button, uh, it's not a button, it's a text view, text view, match parent wrap content, text size, yeah, text whatever, uh, no, no text for the moment, but text size, 30 SP, and the ID is response. You're going to see what uh, was that for. I'm going to do that the faster I can. Response, where's the response? Yes, this. Okay, this is only for PayPal, uh, same thing that I did in one of my previous videos. If you want to understand what it is, then go to that video. Okay, so now we're going to create a new cart, and let's say you have a products that you fetched from the database and you put them in the array of products that you mapped with your uh, database of course you could have for example a product uh, uh, table come on um, we have the linear layout, yes. We're going to put the products in the layout and we're going to compile that to see what, did, what it does. So the button, yeah, whatever. The text of the button, the tag, the text size. This is for the display, okay. All this is actually the display. This is a listener for when the user clicks on the button so that it can buy, he can buy the, I don't know, the user can buy the, the thing. And we add the button to the, to the layout. You may have noticed that my computer is not the fastest, the fastest on the planet. <laughs> Again, you can skip that part.
on each click. I didn't describe that because uh, you will figure out figure it out on your own because it's quite easy to understand. But on each click on the button, on w on the one the one of the buttons, uh, we add the product to the cart and we update the response I called it response because it wasn't uh, I didn't do it uh, I didn't create that text view initially for the um, the updates here but from for the response of the server okay seems to be okay so you see we have the products product 1 product 2 3 4 5 6 7 these products here, the name, the price, in a scroll view. So for example, let's say I'm a user, I'm a, I'm a buyer, and I want to buy the six. Okay, just give me a second. Um, Android Gravity center uh, to center the the response okay and I'm gonna give it a default value that's what I wanted to do uh, but I forgot to do it where's the text oh, it's not this one it's this one Android text uh, I think it was total card value. Yes, total card value equal zero uh, with a space or not? Yes, with a space here. It's just a detail, but you know, <laughs> why not? Okay, come on. Yes. Okay, perfect. So for the moment, of course, the cart is empty. So the total cart value is zero dollar. I buy this one, this one, this one, this one. I like this one and this one too. You see? So that's the first part. Now we have the, the, to implement the other methods for these buttons. Okay. Uh, this I'm not gonna explain this because it's basic uh, PayPal things you know you just go to the one of my previous videos and I already explained that okay the reset uh, method is pretty basic. You just reset the cart. You empty the cart and you put the value to zero, which uh, which is what the empty method does. And I reset the response, but I sh I should do something like total cart value is zero instead of empty. Okay, it seems okay. And now the pay method which is the most important part of course you create a PayPal payment for the whole card and the value of no wait the value of oh come on what do you want uh, I don't know which one this one maybe no <laughs> wrong choice this one what What's okay so um, this is the total card value that the method uh, get value of the card gets in USD for example this is the card the the name of the um, the payment is card you can call it what you want 
and of course this is the constant of uh, PayPal payment. I call the PayPal activity and I can pay. We can try that part, it should work. Come on. Hey, by the way, uh, I'm sorry if I'm not the best speaker in the world. Be it's because uh, I'm French. I'm, uh, I'm not a native uh, English speaker. So I'm doing my best currently. <laughs> okay, so I buy this one, this one, this one, and this one, and also this one, why not? And for some reason, I decide to reset the card. What? What? Oh, yeah, of course. I didn't link the buttons with the 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 clicks on click. So this was the pay button and the reset button. Some people prefer to put it in the XML. Some people prefer to put an on click lister. Uh, both ways are okay, I think. I personally prefer. It depends, but uh, in these cases, the, the on-click seems pretty uh, useful, in my opinion. And view card. Android on-click. View card. I think it, I called it view card in the code. I hope. Yes. Okay, view card. But we're not gonna click for the moment because view card doesn't even exist. You'll see what it does. Uh, it creates and it opens a new. Okay, so it compiled quickly this time. Okay, so first I'm gonna do this and this, and for some reason, reason I change my mind and I want to reset the card. Then I'm gonna write this, this, and I change my mind again, and I reset the card. And this time it's gonna be the good time, the the good one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna write this, this, and this, and this, and I'm gonna pay. Um, yeah, it didn't ask me to log in because I'm already uh, I already logged in a lot of times, so. I think it re uh, remembered my uh, my account name and password. But if you want, uh, if you don't know how I actually did that, and you 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 have a, a screen with uh, with an email and a password input, well, go to my previous video on PayPal, and you will understand how to 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 get to this page. And now. As you can see, we have the card, we have the total price. I can pay with PayPal and this, oh yeah, that's uh, what it was supposed to display. Um, actually, I'm not gonna explain it. I could, but I'm not. You can watch my previous video. You create uh, an application and that's why, by the way, that's where, by the way, you can get the, the client ID. So you can just go to my previous video. It would be easier for me to uh, explain it from that video than from this one. I mean, you will understand better. Okay, I log in. Pay, whatever, come on. And the payment was approved, perfect. Now, uh, I could stop here, but for fun, I guess, or for to show you that you can do more than just uh, the scroll view functionality, you can also, for example, uh, create an activity where you, uh, you display the products that have been bought. You, you actually, actually display the cart, and that's what we're going to do. We're gonna create a new activity. I think it's a new activity, right? Yes, it's a new activity. 
new activity empty or basic which one was it i think it's empty or basic <laughs> i don't know um, view cart no the name of the what come on what the fuck no it's it was empty What's the problem? Package name is not set to a valid package name. What are we talking about? Okay, we're gonna do something else. We're gonna manually create an activity because for some reason Android Studio wants to piss me off. So, view card. And we're going to need also the, the layout, so of course activity main, so it would be cart view. It reverses the, the names. Okay, this is for view cart. This is in shopping cart, okay. Where's the, the activity? You go here, please, come on. And here. And when some people manually create activities, what they always forget to, forget to do is to register the activity. And then they don't understand why it doesn't work. It happened to me a lot of times and now I remember to come on to create, uh, to register the activity, of course. You go to the manifest file, I think, yes, no, what, T uh, yeah, and view cart, uh, what is, I don't know. We're going to see if it works. Okay, so from this activity, from the main activity, when I click on the the view card button, I have to launch the view card activity. So, here's the method. Yeah, uh, actually to to transfer the card to make it available in the other activity, since it's it's an uh, since it's an object, it's uh, you can't you can't you can't do that. Usually, when you want when you want to transfer a variable between two activities, you put an extra right. But in this case, this, it's not a boolean or an integer or a double or a float or whatever. It's an object. And the only way that I know to transfer an object, maybe some of you know other ways, but personally what I do 
is I make a global variable. So we're gonna create a Java file, which is the global application, which is the application, but the application class already exists. So I'm gonna call it global application. And what's the, the keyword? Extends, yeah, of course. And um, the global app application extends application. And now I can make it available in the whole application. It's a cart. What? Yeah, of course, it's a static variable. I guess you can also make it static from here and then access it to... Yeah, this is also a possibility. I just thought of it. You can also do that. Indeed, you can. You can. As long as the main activity is still available, you can. So I guess you could also do that. I'm going to delete that. You can also... Come on, just get the... Static. You can make it static. And from here, it's going to be available in the view cart activity. If I do, for example, main activity dot m cart, you, you see that I can access to it. Okay. So let's try that. I don't know if it's gonna work because I created the activity manually, so maybe there something's gonna go wrong. No? Perfect, it worked. Okay, so perfect. I'm glad. <laughs> so now in the view cart activity, what we're gonna do is display all the products. So uh I'm running out of time because it's already been thirty five minutes, so I'm gonna speed up a bit. In the view cart activity, we're just simply going to display the products. So I'm just going to explain the code and we're going to be OK. Main activity, no thread for God's sake, main activity dot m cart. Uh, the cart layout, we, we're going to need a layout, of course, to display the, the products. I decided to make it the main layout, but of course you can create a layout in the, within the, the initial layout. You can do what you want, right? we get the products it's not the product it's the yeah it's the products because uh, to it's uh, to how do you say when you to iterate over the product uh, the 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 map uh, you cannot use an integer so it's a bit complicated you have to use an iterator which sucks in my opinion but anyway So I iterate over the through the the products and what is that? This is the linear layout because on each you will see that on each 
each row is actually a linear layout with two text views in it. I think I have this. Uh, do I have this? Yes, I have this. So I can draw each row. is a linear layout and it has two text views in it. The first one is for the product. The second one is for the quantity. And you have many rows like this. Okay. So now you understand where the where this does come from. Where the where the oh come on, where does this come from? This is for uh, this. All this is only for display the logic is above this is only for display and the logic is here so you set the name you set the quantity and you add the two things to the the two text views to the layout this is only for display and these two then you add the view and it's gonna show the two text views. Okay, uh, did I miss something? I think it's gonna work, I hope. I'm gonna put the code below, don't uh, worry. So uh, if you want to see the what I've wrote. Okay. I hope it's gonna work. So let's buy this, this and that, and a lot of this. View card, perfect. You see, I've bought one of this, one of this one, and 10 of this one. And let's say I wanna add this one now. this one okay and now what I want to do is to pay you see you have the good value here you're gonna pay And the payment was approved so again this is only a template of what you can do this is only a small example of what you can do um, that looks like a shopping cart that you could call a shopping cart with Android uh, using the PayPal uh, API SDK um, if you want to do better things you, you can of course but uh, as you can see you can at least do that so i hope you enjoyed the video if you have questions or requests or anything you can comment of course and i will reply to you uh, thank you for watching and goodbye